Welcome to this special edition of Queen the Greatest, in which we look back at Queen's 16th album release, The Miracle. Now! By the time The Miracle hit the shelves in May 1989, there had been a two-year wait since the last Queen release. Agony for fans, but as John and Brian explain, vital to the band. Um, the wait from 1986, I think, really, was after we did the... Um the tour, we were all absolutely exhausted and basically we didn't want to really work together or see each other for a while. And then towards the end of that second year, we sort of met up and Freddie suggested we try a little time in the studio. We were refreshed for having two years off and that helped get the album off to a good start. These are some of our best studio times. We've made the decision that all the songs we write will be credited to all of us, so it kind of releases a bit of uh, positive energy in us. They became closer and closer without any doubt at all, and the sharing of writing credits was a major breakthrough. This newfound togetherness was echoed in the album's groundbreaking cover design, and as fans rushed to buy it, thereby ensuring platinum status within a week of release, it was clear the wait had been worth it. The band's new collective way of working produced a string of hit singles with iconic music videos, starting with the powerhouse I Want It All, by Breakthrough Invisible Man Scandal Title track, The Miracle. It's a miracle. The one thing, the one thing we're all waiting for. Indeed, for Freddie, this particular track perfectly summed up the renewed closeness the band had found in the studio. That was one of the songs where we all contributed. It's the closest we've ever actually been in terms of actually writing together, and that's quite true. The four of us really put everything into it because, I mean, Somebody would come in with one line and say, oh, that's terrible, and change it. And so, in fact, I mean, in one way, I hate that because I have to keep singing different the, <laughs> the different lyrics every day <laughs> until we sort of agree on the final one. Now, I'd say lyrically, The Miracle is a, a definite four-way split. The album went on to achieve huge global success, most notably reinvigorating support in the US, which many attributed to Brian, Roger, Freddie and John producing a record that was bursting with the energy, vigour and inventiveness of classic Queen. I think it would have been very silly if we'd tried to just sort of say end up sounding like Prince or whatever's happening at the time. We have to stick to our guns and really make an album of the kind that we feel that people wanted from us. Mm. Um, so no, it's not fashionable really and it's not... Uh, heavily influenced by outside sources. I think it, it's very us. And it goes right back to our beginnings in many ways. We decided that we'd only come back together if we really wanted to. And mm. it felt like the early days to us. And that's why we got very sort of excited and said, oh yes, this is going to be great. And out came a whole load of tracks. Mm. In fact, I think I seem to remember that we had to choose from something like 30 tracks to get yeah. down to this last 10. So 